battle over the controversial Keystone XL pipeline heads back to Nebraska State House. Good evening. I'm Randy Peterson. I'm Rob McCartney. Lawmakers hear arguments over a bill that would strip eminent domain powers from Trans Canada. That's the private company trying to build the oil pipeline. KATV News Watch 7's Andrew Ozaki has our story from Lincoln. Wearing a cowboy hat, Sand Hills rancher Bob Allpress wanted to shake hands with a guy he usually doesn't agree with. Omaha Senator Ernie Chambers. I'm a redneck Republican, but I want to thank you, Senator Chambers for bringing this up because uh, he's right. All press bust to the Capitol Wednesday along with 60 other property owners who live along the proposed Keystone XL pipeline route. They support Chambers LB 473. It would prohibit private companies like TransCanada from using eminent domain to build large oil pipelines. We understand public use. What we do not understand is the taking of land for corporate profit. They say the current law bypasses the Public Service Commission and allows the governor to approve the route and eminent domain powers. They say the contracts TransCanada is offering could make the property owner liable for spills or removing the pipeline after it's abandoned. For the first meeting we went to them, they told us that they were going to be exercising eminent domain if we did not sign their offers. We view that as, as a last resort. TransCanada says they voluntarily negotiated agreements with 90% of the landowners in the state. Take away their power to get the rest and you kill the project. This is a public service, no different than, than the railroads that use eminent domain to build their their right of way. Trans Canada's first pipeline runs along Douglas Zimmerman's land in Seward. He opposes the bill, saying other landowners and taxpayers would lose out on additional revenue. And he's had no problem dealing with Trans Canada. They're always there, and I tell them what I want to do and what I need to do, and um, they pay for it. Still, these landowners feel their rights are being taken away. As a landowner, I lost all power to negotiate. In Lincoln, Andrew Ozaki, KETV, News Watch 7. The Judiciary Committee just finished hearing public testimony. It will decide whether to advance it to the full legislature. Meanwhile, several landowners have filed suit, and a district court judge has blocked TransCanada from proceeding with eminent domain. Now, this afternoon.